friends, Jonathan coming to you from, this is my study here at Life Church, or right here, and just thought I would do a quick update for those of you interested in the doctoral journey that I'm on right now with Liberty University. Started uh, in the summer of 2021, so you have to kind of time travel back. That's when uh, I dove feet first into this uh, full-time student gig based on seeing Liberty University Online through the eyes of my kids who did Liberty Online for a year during the COVID closures. We homeschooled for a year and we were so impressed by the online, just it was so robust, it was so well thought out, well planned, well executed. So I felt really confident going into the doctoral program at Liberty through the school of uh, Rawlings School of Divinity at Liberty University. I've been doing this online student gig for almost two years and just now am in the final week of basically like my final class towards doctoral work. So I've been doing these video blogs on YouTube, on Facebook, just to update people who are curious about how this works online, doctoral work. And then some of you who are just, you know, cheering for me personally, which is pretty cool. Thank you for that. You can see down below links to the previous video blogs and how to connect with me online. So I thought I'd just update you on everything really quick. Things are going really splendid, really great. Um, you have to maintain a certain grade point average when you're a doctoral student. If you drop below 3.0, you're kicked out. So by God's grace, I've stayed above. I'm at a 3.33, which is pretty darn good, man, for a full-time student who's also a full-time pastor and a full-time um, uh, chaplain at uh, the hospice. And also, you know, full-time dad, full-time parent of five amazing kids. So I'm juggling a lot of things. Got a lot of, remember the, the spinning plates on Ed Sullivan? I got a lot of spinning plates in my life right now. One of those spinning plates, though, will come to completion here shortly. So I just completed the final chapter of my doctoral thesis that's been sent to my professor. And I got highest marks on that. So patting myself on the back. Very, very happy with that. And now um, it's up for peer review. So there are fellow students who are reviewing my materials and will be sharing their thoughts, their input. And this week I'm doing a uh, assessment assignment, assessing myself, um, because that's part of the doctoral process of not only becoming really good at research, becoming really good at reading a lot. There are actually some really cool tips for how to speed read through articles and through books. Um, I'll give you one of the tips right now because I do a lot of reading. Um, if you wanna grasp the overall content of a book or of a journal article, but you don't wanna read through the weeds, you read the first sentence of each paragraph. And that helps you to speed read because the first sentence of each paragraph is the thesis statement of that paragraph. And it gives you the overall gist of what the author is trying to communicate. So just read the first sentence of each paragraph and you can zip through books very, very quickly. And then if you want to go back and enjoy what you're reading, then you read through the entire paragraphs. Uh, so that's just a little doctoral tip from me to you. Uh, I'm doing the self-assessment now, which, you, you know, you want to be able to, to critically assess oneself in light of all of the research, all of the data, um, and the completion of said project. Uh, my project that was just completed actually is a podcast, which you can subscribe to on any podcasting platform. So whether you listen on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, whatever, you can type in the word leader shift with Jonathan Heron and you'll get to uh, hear some of the some of the work I've been doing in the doctoral process. 
Um, basically, once the self-assessment is done, there's a few more little odds and ends I have to do next week. And then I'm done with this class. And then we enjoy the holidays, drink some eggnog, come back in January for the final, final phase of the doctoral candidacy, which is to actually present your findings, present your thesis, and it's analyzed by, uh, I think, a team of three professors from Liberty, and then you have to defend your thesis. So I'll come onto a web camera like this with some professors who are going to grill me with questions about the research methodology, the data, the conclusions, um, the efficacy of usage of said solutions in other ministry constructs. So I'll do a defense. And once that's all done, then I wait and wait to hear back from the professors who will either say, hey, go back and we want you to elaborate more on this or we want you to fix this. So there may be that, that's door number one of go back, redo some things and then you know, come back to us. Or door number two is, when they reach out to me to tell me where we're at, uh, they may address me as Dr. Heron. And that's how you know that you've made it past the finish line is when they reply to you using that new title. Um, so that's what we're hoping for, gang. We want an email or a phone call that starts with the word doctor. That would be amazing because then, woo, then we partay. No, then we celebrate, uh, <laughs> which you either... You know, since I'm an online student, you either just wait for them to mail you the diploma, which is very anticlimactic, or you put some money together and drive out to Virginia and actually wear the, the doctoral robes and, the, you know, you turn the tassel and everything. So I have a friend who's in ministry. He's a pastor here in Michigan who's very, very closely connected to Life Church. His name is Norm. And I didn't know he was doing this, but he actually started his doctoral journey online with Liberty University at the exact same time as I did. So it's been really cool to call Norm, text Norm, to encourage one another, because there are times when you just want to crumple up the paper and throw up the wall when you're doing all this doctoral work. So it's been really encouraging to cheer each other forward and to um, kind of see each other as resources as we're both going through the journey. His cognate is different than my cognate, but he's also deep in the weeds of working on his, um, his thesis. And uh, um, very, very excited for Norm. He'll be finishing up his journey, I think, in the summer of 2023. So we'll be, both be able to fist bump and hang out together and be like, hello, good doctor. Oh, hello, good doctor. And, you know, cheers. So that'll be kind of fun. Romans 12, 18 has kind of been my guiding verse for the last two years. Uh, Romans 12, 18, the Apostle Paul says, If it is possible on your part, live at peace with everyone. Uh, another version of the Bible says this, Romans 12, 18. It says, If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. And so with all the chaos of coming out of COVID and leading a church and trying to rebuild that and then also doing full-time chaplaincy work with people at end stage of life and hospice. Then you throw in the doctoral work. Then you throw in my amazing five kids and, and um, that whole journey. Romans 12, 18 has been very, very helpful to as far as it depends on you, live at peace. Shalom with everyone. So that's the update. That's where things are at. I, I really do uh, appreciate and covet your prayers throughout this process because it's not over yet. Uh, the, the biggest part of the test is coming up in just a few weeks. Um, we don't know the exact date of my doctoral defense, but it will most likely be in the first half of February. So if you could circle the first half of the month of February specifically and then write pray for John, I would really appreciate it um, because I've never done a doctoral defense before 
And while I'm really good, you know, talking on my feet, this is, it's a, a deep grilling with lots of specific detail work that you have to do in the moment. And so I would really appreciate your prayers. Uh, my family appreciates your love and your support. Hey, if you're local, one way to, to love our family is to just join us at Life Church. Like seriously, that means the world to us. We love seeing you on Sundays in Midland and in Saginaw. So in person. So if you uh, just want a, a, an easy way to give us an early Christmas present, just show up on Sunday to Midland at 930 or Saginaw at 1115. That, that's what I'm an extrovert. And so being with people energizes me. And so being with you is just like the greatest gift this Christmas season. So there you go. If you want to see the previous bits of the journey, everything's down below. If you've got questions, feel free to put those in the comment section. Over on YouTube, I've been answering a lot of questions from fellow students or people who are thinking of going to do the, the doctoral journey with Liberty Online. And so that's been really fruitful and very helpful for me and for them. I've really enjoyed uh, the conversations over on YouTube. So you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's youtube.com slash Jonathan Heron. Um, so there you go. That's what's going on. Thank you for being part of this journey and enjoy your burrito. <laughs>